It is the 27th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Let me adjust the camera set. My cat's in heat. Uh, Scott.net Earth changes. Uh, Germany noctuscent clouds. Uh, the morning of July 26 was electric blue. Um, said this guy from Germany, uh, I woke up at 3 o'clock and looked out of my bedroom window to the north and saw a stunning display and they've got uh, pictures. Moments later he dashed outside with his camera. And I think I'll post this up on my channel. It's a pretty cool picture. And again, we're strong going with these non, um, noctuscent clouds. Um, there's a lot of electrical energy going on in the poles. Um, there's a lot of things going on. <clears throat> not just with uh, the rain and the snow. Earth's tallest lightning seen in unprecedented detail. Uh, mysterious and gigantic jets of lightning that shoot up near the edge of space have now been observed in unprecedented detail, revealing just how much charge they pack and how they form. Very interesting read. Australia kangaroo attacks 94-year-old woman and her dog wouldn't even help her. Uh, <clears throat> rare heavy snow snarls South African transport. Uh, Johannesburg, an unusually heavy snowfall that blanketed large parts of South Africa, snarled at transport on Tuesday, halting trains and leaving thousands of motorists stranded after highways closed. Uh, the winter storm also brought high winds that played havoc with uh, sh with shipping and delayed air transport, obviously. They're not used to these kind of storms. And the military dispatched a helicopter to pluck a crew members from a cargo ship that ran aground on the East Coast. That's a pretty crazy storm. Um, found some new frogs in Australia. Pretty cool. Where they previously thought nothing was there. Um, here's a fish kill. U.S. thousands of fish turned up dead in Indiana Lake. Uh, Seymour, Indiana. Imagine thousands of fish literally turning up dead in a lake near your home. That's just what happened at a lake in uh, Seymour, Indiana. So our viewers called us asking us to get answers. <clears throat> Heavy snowfall in central Chile. Uh, now again, the southern hemisphere is having an extreme winter uh, due to vol volcanic activity and they've actually got some NASA photos on this as well as far as the, the extension of phone, um, snowfall uh, and what the interior minister described as white earthquake heavy snow blanketed parts of Chile in July 2011 uh, the snow was 2.3 meters or seven and a half feet deep uh, in the city of Longquame CNN reported on Santiago Times reported that some areas received four months worth of snowfall in just four days. And again, here's this extreme winter uh, going on in the southern hemisphere. We're having extreme heat, they're having extreme cold, and um, just an ongoing situation. It's, it's, it's weird everywhere. It's not just where you're at. Uh, U.S. warmer climate could spark more severe Yellowstone fires. Uh, large fires in Yellowstone National Park could dramatically increase by mid-century due to climate change would create a very difficult park that once people know today, a new study suggests. And of course, you need to pay your tar carbon tax, and uh, this is all your fault. It has nothing to do with the uh, changes in the solar system and our sun. Uh, more aftershocks uh, hit Japan as radiation is picked up in Glasgow and Scotland. Okay, I read this story yesterday. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Turkish cancer villa villages warn of epidemic to come along North Dakota, along their roads. Well, check it out if you're in the North Dakota area. In Dunn County, North Dakota, the roads are paved with, an e with a unique danger. Over 300 miles of them are covered with gravel taken from the local North Kildare Mountains. This rock is rich in a mineral called uh, ir Iranite. E-R-I-O-N-I-T-E -E, that behaves not unlike asbestos. Both cause cancer, but according to animal studies, eronite is anywhere from 200 to 800 times more effective than, it, than its more famous counterpart. 
The Dunn County's Uranite gravel release small brittle fibers into the air when lightly disturbed. They release by wheels driving overhead, the, footholes, the footfalls of pedestrians, or even the gentle scrapes of brooms and rakes. Once airborne, the fibers can find their way into lungs of passers-by by accumulating in the surrounding cavity. The story continues, and if you're in the North Dakota, Dunn County area, I highly recommend you read this story. Or anywhere downwind. Bad weather blamed for crash in Morocco, killing 78. Uh, they lost a military cargo plane, uh, what did it say, 60 military, 12 civilians, and 9 crew members uh, lost their life in a storm. <clears throat> I wonder who was on that flight list. We got a 5.9 earthquake in the Gulf of California, and now it's the latest in the string of rattling um, these earthquakes rattling the, the, the Pacific Ring of Fire plate. And again, they go into you know how shaky it's been here lately, but it's it seems like summertime. It's here in here in the northern hemisphere. It, it seems to pick up in the summertime, and. Uh, Earthquake swarm continues in the Canary Islands. Uh, the Canary Island government has said it is monitoring an earthquake swarm on the small island of El Hero, uh, where in excess of 620 tremors of low magnitude have been recorded in the past week. Now, this is a volcanic area, and they're noting that this might be an increase in volcanic activity. Um, I attached a link on yesterday's update. I'll, I'll put it on this one. Um, of an actual uh, special of the Canary Islands and the tsunami threat to the east coast of the United States um, if this were to have a major slide and um, definitely something to pay attention to. Uh, I got some protesters blocking roads in Israel and <laughs> Moody warns private investors Greece will likely default despite assistance. All according to plan Nine killed and thousands flee as storm pummels the Philippines. And we have another typhoon hitting the Philippines. And all the madness that, that goes on. And they're just in their typhoon season. And uh, it's another day in... Wow. North Korea food shortage worse in years despite farms. Uh, it's, unlikely, it's an unlikely sight. Hundreds of ostriches, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but they're going on on how they've... they've Increase like um, like the ostrich farms are bringing in these different things um, to try to help feed their people because they're always having these food problems in North Korea and um, all the flood damage and and weather damage that their crops received this year um, they're really going to have a hard time and a hard winter in North Korea and uh, South Korea has been having its share of crop failure as well. Over to the USOE, or SOE, um, <clears throat> we have a huge landslide in South Korea due to tor torrential rain. Now this was just east of Seoul, and uh, it's a pretty crazy story. They're saying uh, they heard it sound like a freight train rolling downhill, and uh, the back flood got so bad it was turning the subways into flood, I mean literally flooding out the subways, and uh, causing all kinds of madness in that area. Uh, Force fires in Russia, uh, flash flooding in Pakistan, and I guess it's pretty severe. They're saying up to a half a million people affected, or, or was it five million? And again, last summer they had all this flooding, 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 and, and fires in Russia. So uh, here we go again. Snowstorm in South Africa. And snowstorm in New Zealand. <clears throat> I guess New Zealand got hit with a big whammy of a storm, too. Uh, I trapped over 250 skiers and uh, all kinds of madness because it all just kind of came at once. They're saying it came late, but uh, when it arrived, it really did. And I'd like to give a, a salute to Dutch Sense. Uh, he made the RSOE. They're uh, uh, an unusual geological event in the uh, Pishka Crater in the Mojave Desert in California. Now, Dutch put out some videos of where he was actually seeing some steam outgassing on, on the radar, and it was coming from this area, and the USGS actually um, put in and said uh, Dutch was misinformed, and uh, this isn't what's really going on. Um, nothing to see here, folks. Move along, move along. Uh, 
kudos to you Dutch, way to get them, and uh, time will tell in the end if uh, Dutch is right or not, but this is a very active area, and uh, after watching his videos I can see that it's in the lava flow area, so um, who's to say what's really going on down there unless we get somebody down there ourselves. <clears throat> And finally, over on the watchers tonight, uh, I wanted to report on Mexico City is sinking more gigantic earth cracks in the Valley of Mexico. Uh, these huge fissures are opening up in the Valley of Mexico because you've got to remember most of Mexico City is in a dry lake bed um, just under a volcano. And um, the earth cracks have just gone mad down there so you need to look into that severe drought causes famine in East Africa and of course they've been playing this up in uh, Kenya and Somalia and East Africa is having a, a hell of a time feeding their people still and moisture surge to ramp up US Southwest monsoon more haboobs are possible, so um, folks in Arizona and the Southwest uh, get prepared for, for more dust, dust storms uh, this monsoon season, more than you're used to. And Heavy rain causes waterlog in interiors, um, interferes with traffic in central China, and, and uh, I believe this is a remnant of a typhoon. Yeah, they're evacuating thousands of people and, um, you know, disruptions to the roads and the travel and industry and all of that. And typhoon hits the Philippines. <clears throat> And that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, um, please attach your comments or your videos below. Uh, enjoy what you can, and I'll see you next time.